So as a female entrepreneur, I feel like we now have such a huge support network that, you know, maybe it, it, it definitely is true that there's still some pushback you're going to get probably as being a female entrepreneur, but I think the resources are just so immense. And, you know, here, even just right here in Asheville, there's so many successful women entrepreneurs that you can now talk to and turn to and the small business incubator can refer you to that there's no way any woman can in today's you know today say that they're alone because they aren't there's such a huge network of support um, in our area so we are very lucky i think traditionally there are a lot more male entrepreneurs than female entrepreneurs um, I think that's changing. I see a lot of female entrepreneurs now, uh, and I think that's needed and wonderful. <laughs> and I, and you know, for me personally, I don't know if this is just the way that I um, look at things, but I, I think that I, I wouldn't say that I have had challenges or setbacks because I'm female as an entrepreneur. I would say though that. Uh, you know, that it probably happens more than I've given credence to it. You know, I, I personally don't um, buy into it. <laughs> it. Meaning, meaning, I feel like I should clarify that. The challenges are real and they're there. Um, I don't think they should be. <laughs> so I think that, you know, it's important to recognize the fact that the climate is changing within entrepreneurship and you know, I'm very happy and excited to be a part of that. Um, you know, at the same time, I feel like it shouldn't stop anyone from being an entrepreneur and from following your dreams and going for it and doing what, what you think you can accomplish and, you know, trying hard and working hard for what you can accomplish. Um, I do think it plays sometimes, you know, the ways in which I've seen it play out for me are um, at times coming from a good place, but maybe like a little extra um, coaching <laughs> or like a little extra, um, you know, work around certain things that, that you know, that, that may not be necessary. Um, and I don't think that comes from a bad place, but, but I see that sometimes. And I think um, one of the challenges though, I will say of being an, a female entrepreneur, at least for me personally, has been having the courage and confidence to say, I've got this, you know, so that that's a challenge. <laughs> I think my thoughts about being a female entrepreneur, like, I mean, I, I just think of myself as an entrepreneur, like I, I think that you should just be confident in who you are. And I think it's really unfortunate that like more female entrepreneurs aren't making like the big bucks. You know, I think someone told me the other day it was like 2% of female entrepreneurs make more than a million in gross like revenue a year, which is crazy. Like, I think that, I mean, our society has, I mean, at least during my lifetime, like our society has supported the idea of me being independent and going to school for what I want and all of that. Um, I know that like I have some privilege in that way, like that I'm a white woman that like grew up like fairly comfortably. Um, but I think, I, I just really, I think that we should just go for what we want just as a human being, you know? This is Emma June. She is a baby of 2020. I imagine she'd probably be an entrepreneur, yes in some in some shape or form certainly um a business can be kind of like a child like it needs it needs a lot of attention and um, <laughs> then, then uh, when you have an actual child they can sort of be at odds with each other um some of the some of the time but um both have to find a way to to uh, coexist like siblings <laughs>